Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 656. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinside. Hello. And Tony Corkinak. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome, guys. Welcome, listeners and viewers, to 656 of the Movie Cast. Indeed. All right, guys. Uh, big week incoming here for, for movies. Uh, I guess I know a, a good worldwide box office for Mission Impossible. Did did anybody go and see this movie yet? I didn't get to see it this weekend. I was no, too busy watching it. Yeah. I'm, you, you, uh, I don't see on. a picture on mine. I'm not getting any feed there. Uh, no video. Oh, there we go. We're here. We're we're doing it live, everyone. Oh, there, there we go. go. Yeah. There we are. But you know, okay. no, I did get to watch did watch it. You know, it's one of my most anticipated movies, and Tom Cruise delivers. This is a fantastic film. The one thing I will nitpick a little bit is the villain, like, um, is a little weird. I think just the 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 way that it plays out, but um, it's still really really cool, action packed. Obviously, one of the classic summer blockbuster movies. So I would still highly recommend this this film. Like he's stunt wise, like action wise, everything did, you would want from a did, Mission did Impossible they, movie. Were they clearly inspired by Uncharted in one of those sequences? By the way, oh, absolutely. There's okay. No doubt. I saw the highlights and I'm like, yeah, that definitely looks Uncharted to me. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Um, yeah. I saw yeah. actually I saw like a little making of this movie and how mm-hmm. they built they built the train from scratch because it was cheaper to build the train than it was to buy a uh, car from somebody else. Mm. It was cheaper than to build it. So they built all of that from scratch. They made, I think they only made one. So they had to get the crash perfectly correct. I watched like this whole thing on it. It was pretty awesome actually. Um, nice. Yeah, it was pretty cool. So I'm, I'm excited for this Very movie. Good. I'll be seeing it. I'll be seeing it. Uh, I don't know if I'll see it this week because I got, I got Barbie this week tomorrow actually going to see that. And then I've got Oppenheimer on Friday morning. Um, hoping I can still see that. I have, unexpected uh might have to ha- watch my stepdaughter that morning so i'm not sure yet but i'm, I'm hoping to mm. see it then so um but you know it's but possible. that's cool here I'm, yeah i'm excited for that oh there goes my conditioning sorry everybody that you were hearing things also if you're if you're seeing things in the background this is a cage my uh my cat unfortunately had a ma- massive accident over the weekend and and is mm. in uh is in uh okay shape now but she was in critical shape before so she's okay now but uh glad to hear yeah. it yeah, that's why there's a cage. She's safe. She has to stay in the cage for a week because she's get stitches, and we have to leave her in there, you know. So, mm-hmm. um, but uh, so th- there's a cage in the background for those watching the video. By the way, live Twitch Tuesday nights. You like that transition? Uh, live Twitch Tuesday nights. Uh, please join us at eight o'clock. Uh, if you do miss these live streams, we are also on YouTube. Obviously, the following days. So, um, feel free to subscribe to both channels so you get notified when we go live, and then also when we post those content, or the content over on YouTube the following day. So that's the mm-hmm. best way to do it. But yeah, all right. So Corey, you watched Mission Impossible? Yeah. Anything no, else? Um, yeah, the uh, the actress that played Mantis in Guardians is in this film, and I thought that character was really well done. And like, it's neat to see that actress doing something else, you know, for uh, for a change. Mm. And so, um, I thought that she was cool. She's like this crazy psycho lady in this film. Uh, and then you got another Marvel um, Captain, you know, America. The what's the heck? Oh my gosh, Pat, uh, oh, what's her name? Uh, Captain America's girlfriend, um, Peggy, um, Peggy Carter. Yeah, That's it, yeah. Peggy Carter. Uh, Carter. The actress that she she's in this as well, and yeah. um, she um, she does a great job. And yeah, I mean, I think the acting wise, everybody does a great job of portraying the characters that they are, and and you get to see Ving Rhymes and you know Simon Pegg again, and they doing That's their cool. thing. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny because there is a little bit of this whole, like, family, like, Fast and Furious type of thing here because it's like, oh, the only way to get to him is by getting to his family, his friends. So it's like, ah. Oh. I think that's so. just a trope, though. No, yeah. it is. I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not even a trope. It's just a, it's something that is easily relatable and it's something that we all kind of, you'd think as people would want to be like, we want to protect our family our family our, our mm-hmm. group of friends and each other and so yeah you want to kind of be self-sacrificing sometimes and that's tom cruise's character and this is just more of the your life is more important than my life kind of thing but um 
they cool. do do one of those things where it's like oh this is character that's from the past that is here in the future is in the present now disrupting things and making um the you know tom ethan hunt's character kind of doubt certain things and go off script a little bit uh because of the emotional side of stuff and so uh yeah it's 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 really good i do want to see it again uh, just because i think it's like a i saw it kind of late at night and there's such a so much going on and this i probably missed a bunch but um yeah i want to i think it's see it again really really good yeah yeah cool all right anything else Corey? Corey, you watched um Secret Invasion, right? Last week's episode? Yeah, of course. You know, I, I am shocked at the feedback I see online from people saying they hate this show. Like, I'm like, what is there to hate hate about this show? Like, I understand the budgets. Like, we saw the budgets come out recently, these numbers. But yeah, like, million, I, yeah. yeah, like, I understand. Like, I, I get, I get budgets are stupid. Like, that's just ridiculous. But the show is good. Like, I'm not saying it deserves that budget. I'm just saying the show is good. Like, don't, mm, don't. I mean, it looks great. Like, yeah. I don't have any problems with the way it looks. And that's I just, where, I mean, like, the money went into this. I, I appreciate guess. it. I just. I don't know if it. I mean, it's I don't know a movie what people budget. don't like about it. It's like this it's, is act. This is the show that it's trying to be is doing exactly what it's trying to do. Like, I, I haven't seen any negative discourse. Where are you guys looking? Twitter. I, I, I see it on the cesspools. I've seen it everywhere. I've seen on the cesspools on Twitter. No. And yeah, Mike's I, seen it. Basically, <laughs> it, it coincides usually with the flash posts. People will call it like secret invasion pretty badly if people are posted by the flash. It's like a defensive mechanism from people, certain people. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's what it is, but whatever. Sure. Oh, I, mean, uh, I, I, just, I don't know what the Discord is either. I, I don't know where the. Um, I, I've, I've seen a few. I've seen quite a few actual like you know, reviewer reviewers just saying like this is dull or this was a yeah. dumb choice. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen a fair amount of those articles going up. I so. have I have seen that too. Like they uh, this last episode, they felt like it was a very big letdown following the the previous episode. And I'm like I I don't know. I really like this episode. So and those are um, pretty big reveals and the pretty yeah. big moment at the end that like. Um, I, I get. I get what was the other thing? They're trying to recapture Winter Soldier and failing. That was the other uh, title I, I, I read somewhere. I don't know if that's what they're trying to do. I haven't gotten that the vibe. Vibes. At all. They're yeah, trying to recapture vibe. the vibes and they're failing. Yeah. Well, that's I will it. say that this the thing you have to remember for that budget, just to defend a little bit on the budget, is the the quality, the picture quality, the cinematography on this is movie quality. Like it is mm-hmm. shot like a vid- movie. So there's a lot that went into that aspect of things. I'm sure that's quite expensive to do to make it like that big production scale. I, the um, only criticism that I could really see uh, is that this is not the comic book Secret Invasion whatsoever. Oh yeah, and, and you so, can be up, like if you're, you're, you are yeah. looking for that, then this is not that at all. So you can I be up and people being upset. Yeah, that. you absolutely understood if you're up in arms for that but uh, but for what this is this is a very i like i like this so this has been one of my yeah. more um enjoyable marvel shows in a long time so yeah so uh for me i think that's about it i've watched a lot of there was uh you know we we talk about regressing like going to nostalgia when you're like i mean we like i said we were at the pet er with this with this cat over the weekend so it was was not a um it was not a cheap weekend so i watched a lot of uh like old stuff like dumb and dumber uh i watched you know they, sometimes you when you get back at one o'clock in the morning you just like i can't go to sleep because you're wired from everything that just happened you're like i gotta watch something stupid uh and and dumb and dumber is that oh, great comedy that was yeah and, and and of course i was talking to you guys about thundercats how i've been kind of like into that and i, I got back into the, like i'm watching the old cartoon again um and I, you know i i felt like it didn't age well when i first went back to it when i first got it on hulu but now that I'm watching, I'm like, it's there's nothing wrong with this. The animation's excellent. Like considering, like obviously they re- reuse cells, but that was the old tricks in the '80s. So I think it looks great for what it's drawn from. So I loved it. But, um, but that's about it for me. Um, Corey, anything else for you or no? Uh, speaking of like older films, I did watch Dodgeball again. Nice. Right. See, that's what I'm talking about. That was that yeah. was on the queue. Corey, it was between Dumb and Dumber, Dodgeball, and uh, uh, Ace Ventura. Should have watched Dodgeball. Yeah, that's but Dodgeball is great still. It holds up I was really in, well. I don't know. I got like the Jim Carrey. I really something got me into the Jim Carrey vibe. Okay. I just wanted that. So um, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, uh, Tony, what have you been watching? Anything? Uh, yeah, some more Ted Lasso. Burning through that. Uh, I think nice. I'm about halfway through. Maybe okay. a, a little bit more than halfway through. He just devised a new strategy or whatever <gasps> for the mid season. So Did he just... uh, like have that like epiphany and he was yeah. like the American <laughs> yeah the American <laughs> restaurant. So I was like okay. <laughs> Uh, nice. So interesting to see where that goes because obviously you know it, it it plays out just like a sports shonen, 
where it's mm-hmm. like obviously they're gonna lose the first time they go against their rivals you know so it's like okay we gotta get the comeback and everything i get mm-hmm. it i get it dramatic and stuff um other than that i watched um a movie from a few years ago called the green knight oh you yeah, guys heard about yeah, that? Okay. Mm-hmm. yeah yeah and like uh, it's like an arthur arthur it's yeah arthurian arthurian, arthurian yeah. legend yep so like I gotta go on a little rant here, but I fucking hate when anything, whether it's a movie, a video game, comic book, novel, anything, whenever they fucking just leave it up to your imagination, like open ended, mm-hmm. like, hey, it's ambiguous. What do you think happened? It's like motherfucker, you tell me. You're the director. You're the producer. You tell me what happened. I don't want to have to fucking think about this. I don't want to speculate. I want to play your stupid little puppet games and be like, oh well, he could live or he could die or you know whatever stuff like that. Like, yeah, you know, it's just bullshit. Um, and that's what this movie was. That's what it did. I it, like it's a slow, so slow burn. Like oh, yeah. you just watch yeah. this dude, and he's on like some epic quest, and all these random weird magical things happen to him. I'm just like, okay, sure. Like we're gonna watch this and. It's shot well. Don't get me wrong. It had a minuscule budget, so it looks really good for considering its mm-hmm. budget. And I have no problem with actors. Wasn't that up for best picture? That was up for best mm-hmm. picture. I think so. Yeah. 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 Stuff like that. But the the way the movie ended, I'm just like fuck you. I'm just like fuck mm-hmm. you. Like it, get well, out of I mean, here. Inception taught us like it could be good if it's like that. Leave Inception open ended. Inception was probably the last one, but even to me, like I feel like that one. Even though like more? they could have like it just. If I remember correctly, the sound was uh, leaning towards, you know, the one in. But I, I get it, I get it. But at least yeah. Inception was just in, very enjoyable throughout, right? And stuff like that. And I even think afterwards they came out and said it, like, at some point, right? Like, yeah, this is the true reddening or whatever. Yes. So like, he's actually... Well, I, don't think they said, I don't think it came out and said that, but they... No, they did. They definitely they, did. I don't... 100%. I, don't know, I, will, Corey, bet I will bet on this. I will bet on this. Corey and I still <laughs> argue to this day. Now, I know I'm on the side of right, but uh, Corey and I still argue to this day if he, if he did get out. Um, but he did. I, he he said rel- it. relatively recently that they intended One Direction. I will bet you twenty dollars mm-hmm. that okay. they came out and said okay. what. This it was relatively was. recently, within like the last year or two. That I think really? they said that. Really? They ended def- in I ended I thought it was way before, but yeah. I think I just know. I think like Nolan or something said said it relatively recently. So it was officially leaning one way with that. Yeah. So anyway, whatever. And just coming off of the game I just played too, it's like, fuck you guys, like, be better than this. Like, absolutely be better than this. Like, I just hate this kind of ambiguity. It's just like, fucking say something. Fucking say something. Like, at least if I hated it, like, at least you made me feel something rather than like, okay, this is just dumb. Like, I just waste two hours of my life on this fucking piece of shit movie. Um, At least it was a bad ending. Like, you know. I mean, I was about to cite Mass Effect 3, but even that was kind of ambiguous, so... Nah, fuck that. I'm not going to give praise to that. Uh, so anyway, yeah, moving on from that. Um, what else did I watch? I watched something. I can't shows? remember. Movies or shows? I can't remember. It's not important. We can move on. But yeah. that was it. All right. I'll come to you. Yeah. Later. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Mike? Um, I'm not watching anything other than AI, AI Sponge, which is not a real thing. Mm. okay all right guys let's, if you know you know <laughs> let's talk a uh, little little box office again we talked about um mission impossible opening this weekend uh, not great i mean it did 54 million which is that's over the three day 78 over the five five day 78 mm-hmm. it, yeah. it opened like wednesday night yeah that's the weird part like barbie's opening wednesday night and i'm like uh the, oh, oh my god i forgot to book the, my turtles tickets oh crap that's a tuesday night the turtles movie Dude, I don't think you had to worry. Um, yeah, be all right. I was gonna yeah, say that's, that's you gonna, should be all right. All right. You'll be you'll be lucky to get a fifty from that one. Yeah, we'll see. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I hope it's fun. But anyway, so uh, we had that opening, seventy eight million. The thing, the difference to keep in mind between this movie and the other two biggest flops of the longest time I can think of between the Flash and Indiana Jones, uh, this has a much better worldwide presence. So it's drawing in. It's gonna do. Well, it's probably not gonna be profitable. Because the again budgets are stupid, it's going to it's going to be a, it's going to be stronger than those two, uh, because it already this is, is like was it two eighty or something already? Yeah, it's already at two eighty international. I think if I remember right, it opened like one seventy. So that, no, it's two fifty. Oh, maybe now by now it's two eighty. It's Tuesday, mm. but um, 
but yeah, so it's it's going to be better off worldwide. Um, so that's okay. This is going to probably have better legs too, even though Barbie and sure. Open are open this that's... weekend. It got an A cinema score, so mm-hmm. I wanted to talk it. about le- talk about legs, man. Elemental is just sure. unbelievable. Yeah, that's one of the like yeah, nine kids movies are always like that, though. Yeah, like it's great. Nine percent. Not really. Drop. Pixar nine? dropped like a sh- fucking turd last year. Yeah, yeah, like this movie has been out. I for... think there hasn't really been like a kids movie that's been worth going to, you know, because yeah. nobody's going to see that Kraken movie. No, uh, Ari asked me what that was. She's like, I've never even seen anything for this. I'm you like, mean, since no. Mario, right? They, they have failed. Yes, they have failed. <laughs> um, if 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 my you know ten year old, which is what this is marketed for, has not seen anything for it, that's a problem. I'm just talking about like right now, you know, like since Elemental's been out, like what else is there for yeah. kids to go to? Sure, and it's kind of like. A, what? Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man's gonna be out released digitally, I think, like next week. I think, right? There's certain pre orders for this, mm-hmm. actually. I saw Apple mm-hmm. post it. Um, it but yeah, weeks. I mean, it's done 125 domestic elemental at this point, um, 125, almost 126. It's doing well, actually. Uh, considering how it no. opened, that's oh. pretty damn good. Yeah, okay. It salvaged, it had some legs. It's, it's still gonna be a yeah. fucking bomb. It's just, again, relative again, to the other bombs in the room. We, we go back to budgets. <laughs> Tony, pu- mm-hmm. budgets yes, are yes. just ridiculous. It, no, I it, agree. The mo- yeah, this movie performed fine for a normal budget. I yes. agree. I agree. Yeah. So, all right. Uh, let's move. Let's see. Like I said, opening this week's Barbie and Oppenheimer. Uh, Barbie will be the number one movie. I'll go out on the limb. Easily say, say that next week. Uh, Barbie will be number one movie with 105 million, 104. I'm going in that range. Yep. Okay. So, uh, insane, but that's what it looks like. Oppenheimer, a Chris Nolan movie, is going to be just. Dis- Beaten bad by Barbie. Um, all right. News, I mean, Barbie's beaten a lot of movie. things. Oh, sure. It's an sure. R-rated talking movie. <laughs> but they're, but they're opening mean... head to head. So no, that, I get that's it. That's fine. Here. But you yeah. know, I mean, but, it's yes. beating a lot of the superhero movies this year. So it's gonna. Yeah, I mean, Barbie could save the box office this time. It, oh, speaking of that, Mario Flash, and Barbie not gonna be Green Lantern, right? No, it won't. Mm-hmm. It oh. will not be Green Lantern. I forgot to mention nope. that it will not be un- un- unadjusted Green Lantern box office unadjusted from yeah. when it released yep that's, it, that's it, no inflation folks <laughs> yep and indiana jones to give that more hate from disney here uh is going to lose them like it an insane amount of money uh what do they put it's like a 400 like 325 to 400 million dollar yeah. budget i've heard now and mm. uh this thing is going to finish at maybe maybe 200 so if it's, it's lucky bad. internationally yep, yeah it's bad so it, it's just both these films just and they're back to back. That was what's crazy about it. Just the timing of the both flops, and, and the elemental same time. Yeah. But at least elemental salvaged itself a little bit. Box office would be really bad if it wasn't for Mario and Spider Man. It this is year. very. It'd be awful. It is. It is a very big picky <laughs> box awful. office. Yeah, it really mm-hmm. is. It's that's yeah, the best I mean, way to say it. Guardians didn't do as well as I think no. I expected. Yeah. No. So, all right, let's talk some news, guys. Uh, we got the strike coming up. We're going to talk about that. Bunch, bunch of strikes actually first off though peacock i got an email from them yesterday raising their prices from for a dollar they're going up from 4.99 to 5.99 for the base uh basically a dollar around the board no two dollars um, for the premium oh two dollars for premium i misread that okay two dollars for premium now so jesus all right um i mean they're 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 not doing well uh We've they don't have a billion lot of, dollars already yeah they don't have a lot of i think that late they're, they're predicted to lose another billion or two or whatever mm-hmm. they, I mean, honestly, that that app, the only thing I ever do on that app is pop on for, like, some Office episodes, and that's about it. Like, I, I have it because I got the promo for a year at 99 cents a month, so that's what I have right now. Uh, so I do check it out, but, like, it's usually, like, oh, the other night, again, back to the Saturday night, late night thing. The Office, you put that on as well to go to sleep. It's, like, perfect to kind of just put on in the background. We'll see in another um, couple of years. I guarantee you we'll see a lot of these disappear. Oh, yeah. I think it's going to get bought, uh, like, merged into something else. Mm-hmm. That's basically yeah. what will happen, so... Just like TV channels right. do. Yeah, it's fine. Um, James Gunn announced that, uh, or was leaked, I guess, and then he announced that um, Metamorpho, which is a, uh, is that a supervillain or a superhero? A supervillain, right? I don't, oh, know, fuck dude. I don't know who he is. He's excited because he cast Anthony Kerrigan, which is, uh, by the way, the actor from Barry. Uh, mm-hmm. He's awesome. Like, I really, like, that actor has been fantastic in Barry. Uh, I was very excited to see that he cast him in this movie for Superman Legacy. Um, so... Uh, I had to mention it because I'm like I really like this actor. I think he's fantastic. Uh, really funny guy. Mm. Um, it should be interesting to see how this works on this character. But also, how many characters are gonna be in this movie? Seems like a lot. So 
No, I mean, like we mentioned, this is supposed yeah. to be the world where superheroes already existed. Yep. Yep. Yeah. I didn't know they were all going to be in the movie, though, but I guess they are. They're going to be just. I mean, like, they also, throughout. like, you also get. You had the Suicide Squad who had all these characters that they promoted and then they were in their movie for like five minutes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's what no, there be. was. There was a. A core team of like five or so that was there the whole time. I mean, no, I understand yeah, but they cast like a dozen like or twenty something. people, and yeah, then like... they like just kill them off right in the beginning of the movie. Right. No, but I'm sure so that's we're gonna, what it's we're gonna, gonna be. Gonna we're gonna see Superman, Mister Terrific, in this movie. That's what's gonna happen. Yeah, they're right probably away. gonna to visit the JSA, just, they, or they just have or like just five like, minute cameos. It's like okay, well, show that there's these characters in this universe, and then that's all there is. Like it doesn't, they don't need to be the center stage. It's a Superman movie. I don't know. I'm assuming you're gonna get like ten minutes or something of you know most Guy Gardner. Like I don't see these characters yeah. having a lot of screen time whatsoever. No, I think it's gonna be more of an interaction, and that's about it. Uh, mm -hmm. But nothing more, nothing to advance the major plot of the movie. That's what I'm thinking. So, no, I mean, um, I think right. it's gonna be a bit like Peacekeeper. You might get Superman by himself here and there, but he's gonna have a team. Why? Cause that's kind of because that's what Gunn does. He has a team in all his movies. Mike does have so. precedent for that. He does. He does have a point here. I don't think so, but you're right, Mike. I can't. I can't take that. You're. You're not wrong with this statement. But he's I just, done I don't team think based movies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Suicide Squad, Guardians of the Galaxy. Those were. But that's teams. what Mike's. But that's what Mike's saying. Mike, right. Mike's but saying this is Superman, the... not you know I know. Justice or, League. I don't know, so we'll see. But. But I get what Mike's saying. Here. He does what he does. <laughs> I mean, Slither wasn't that. There was no team in there. It was just like characters what? dealing with the horror creature. It's like just because like it, it depends on the genre and the the movie that you're making. I don't see. I just saying like he could. I, you don't make a Superman movie so you could put him in a team. Then you're just going back to BVS and Justice League. That's the vibes I'm getting from all these early announcements already. But no, we'll I see. See it more being like you're gonna get five minutes of these characters. Yeah. In fact, these characters could be fighting each other with Superman kind of being involved in the, that fight. That could be. So, all right. Uh, let's talk strikes because there's two going on right now. The writer's strike obviously is happening. Uh, it was over, man. The speaking... actor strike yeah, just happened now to say that. But yep. the writer's strike is big because they said the it was released last <laughs> week. The studios have no intention of sitting down until they go broke, essentially. That was one statement before the actor struck. Uh, you know, um, but that's pretty nasty from these executives who make millions of millions hundreds, of dollars, hundreds, 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 of, of, hundreds of, millions. of millions. Yeah, but, I mean, you look at uh, Z Zaslav, uh, Zaslav made uh, five hundred four hundred and yeah four hundred ninety six million dollars last year. You can round that up, Jim. We can round it up and just say five hundred million. Half a billion, half a billion half dollars. Million dollars to fuck um, everything up. That's what his job is. Half a billion dollars, and then so obviously the actors are now striking. Now you got millionaires versus hundreds of millionaires um and uh you know it's it's not a pretty site you have actors posting about uh the shit that's going on you have um the the i saw your picture tony like i had to read what happened on the tree picture that you posted from the actors posted yeah the, so, so the actors had strike yeah. go on go on oh no so apparently the picket line uh, outside of uh, universal uh had trees that are planted at in the sidewalks of the streets yes. and stuff like that which which, by the way, you don't prune trees until the fall. Right, yeah, you don't you prune do it, yeah. yeah. But uh, apparently a day or two after the pickets and the uh, protesting started, uh, all of a sudden the, some company came out and pruned the trees to remove the shade like, from the picket line. So see, we're, not, like, we're not talking like a few branches. We're not no, talking, it's like, the whole thing. It's like there's, there's nothing. Tree, it is barren. Yeah, yeah, it is it, barren. It, it, it really killed the trees. All of those trees there are like, there's no way those trees yeah. survived. But yeah. apparently... I don't know. Comments are weird, uh, as always, because it's the internet. But uh, apparently it's a thing where um, in cities, uh, even though you might own the property, the trees are technically property of the city. They so are. So you can't yes. do anything 100%. to that right? unless you have the, I guess, the okay from the city Mission. or whatever. No. Yeah, you have to, I mean, if you're cutting trees, you have to call. Yeah. Uh, I read that they didn't mind just paying the fine. Yeah, but that's like yeah, well, probably, but it's hundreds of thousands of dollars that they just sure. pissed away. Absolutely. Which is yep, again, just going back to the companies being yep. fucking greedy. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's the problem right now. Is uh, we have, I, I, I don't know, 
I don't know how these actors like how is the studio how is the studio going on now? Because like you have to they walked off the premiere sets like the premiere of um, everything is uh, stopping Oppenheimer Everything. Oppenheimer yeah oh yeah, yeah I mean we haven't had promos for Barbie or uh, Oppenheimer this week I don't think yeah no uh, they were actually they were at the pre- they literally walked out of the premiere because yeah. the strike happened during it mm-hmm. so uh, they had to walk out of the movie and you know it, it, it's it's unbelievable to not only lose the act the writers but the actors as well like last time we didn't lose the actors. Like no, think about is... what happened last writer strike that destroyed shows like that we talked about it last episode with heroes mm-hmm. yeah we, we we talked about every it, show like, um, office yeah like everything everything on air was affected yeah. but obviously the actors have a little more sway because people know them and you know <laughs> they they are most of them well not most of them a lot of them do make more money but still you know they they have more sway and that makes this way more interesting because. You know, no one knows any writers really, unless they're also, you know, on camera oh. personalities as well. So no, yeah. you know, so people they could scab up writers if they really needed to, probably pretty easily. Uh, but I gotta, um, you can't really do that with actors too easily. So I, I might I'll the have whole some other thing. Yeah, actually, I have a friend who is in the um, actors, the actors guild. He's on strike too. So I'll ask. I'm gonna see him next week. I just realized it. I'm he's coming out next week, so I'm gonna actually ask ask him how it was, how's going, what's what's mm. going on. Uh, because he's in, he doesn't do anything big, but he's done commercials. He's been in, he, he's been in Beach Bum, but uh, he, you know, I mean, like, and you know, obviously this is more for people like him, you know. Yeah, no, it's that's what I'm saying. Like he, like I want to see what's going on with him, uh, because a lot of the arguments, and that's what made me think of him actually, was a lot of the arguments I'm seeing from actors is royalties, uh, based on like usage, yeah. because like. We talked about with uh, what's the Power Rangers, right? You posted that last mm-hmm. week. Zordon guy. Zordon yeah. made like a thousand dollars to play Zordon in all Less the than that. It was like five hundred dollars. I thought it was a thousand bucks. I, was I think he said he, right? he said in the subtweet altogether. Yeah. He, he got paid like a thousand bucks or something like that for all of the Zordon images you've ever seen. It was thousand yeah. dollars. Well, I mean, it, it is clear that like they might have had like a recording session, and since the kids don't care about his mouth matching up to oh, anything yeah. they only they only recorded him one day that's it every time yeah. it's it's just, just... you get the same sort of yeah. rrr, 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 over and over again for like ever yeah but no i mean the thing is like they were talking about um various uh actors have come forward and, and talking about it uh like even um what's james uh james gunn's brother uh Sean or Sean. yeah Sean Gunn. Sean yep. Gunn. yeah he was doing an interview and basically said that um like he was on uh Oh fuck! What was that drama? Gilmore Girls or whatever like that? Mm. Yes, yeah, yeah. And, you know, yeah. yeah, Gilmore um, Girls is one of the most popular shows. Show. Most, one of the most popular shows apparently on Netflix or whatever it's it's on. And even though that got streamed and you know earns Netflix, you know whatever they math it out to be and stuff like that, he doesn't see anything significant royalty wise or something like that. So you know they just want a fair share of. Because like, the well, game has changed, right? The game has changed since the last time they did this. Streaming right. wasn't a thing the last time. Well, well that's what know. we ran into with Black Widow with uh, you know, yeah, Scarlett Johansson. Johansson. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, absolutely. So that that changed. COVID really just expedited what was about to happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, and that's what's causing this. So, right. um, yeah. So I, it, it's going to be interesting to see how this shakes out and how long this lasts because right now there's no, it's, it's a dead stop. Yep. Right, nobody's working. So yep. no one. Every um, every film that we were have been talking about the past month is stopped. Like Deadpool stopped. Like Superman stopped. Um, everything, literally yeah. everything. Yeah. So and uh, yeah, I mean, I hope that the actors also bring the writers guild with them to the table. That would be great because they have a lot more sway mm-hmm. yeah, with yeah, this sure. So hopefully they do this, but they don't have to clearly. So. Uh, and I know they're looking out for themselves. That's and I get it. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Hopefully they do. Yeah, try hopefully. To, yeah, because I mean, yeah. I don't know. Just seems like. <laughs> and you know the thing is too is like fucking uh, Bob uh, Bob Iger, fucking yeah, Iger. Yeah. released his like dead fucking brain stupid ass interview where he's like, yeah, uh, the writers are being unreasonable, and it's like, uh, what are they asking for? He's like, I can't talk about that. And it's like, <laughs> it's yeah. like, dude, you're paid like thirty million dollars a year. Plus whatever bonuses or stock options and shit. Yeah, that's get. on the like, books. Yeah, don't get tell any. You don't get to tell anybody who is being unreasonable in this situation at all. I'm sorry. When you're, you know, especially like, when we saw that list of executives or like people yeah. in this industry that are getting hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah, exactly. And you know, he's like, "This is the worst time to strike." It's like, bitch, a strike isn't supposed to be fucking, you know, um, convenient. convenient for you. It's supposed to fucking oh. hurt you. And yeah, you know what? Your company is not doing well right now. Uh, it's you know stemming blood money from 
Disney Plus, you know, mm-hmm. these huge bombs with Indiana Jones, Elemental, and stuff like that. Like, maybe you yeah. should think about things, but, you know, whatever. Fucking billion, trillion dollar company. Oh, it's just hurting us, though, man. It's just... Like it's the the consumer, the the, co- the customer, the people yeah, that enjoy you know the what? content. Whatever, we, it's fine. I'll just this. I'll just watch old shows then. Fuck them. I mean, that's what you're gonna have to do. But like, that's at fine. The same time, like you have some great stuff that is just gonna get ruined, like we saw last time. It's time to be out, like I am. Fuck them all. Yeah. We don't need fiction anymore. Just play yeah. video games. Fuck it. Yeah. As long yeah. as it doesn't bleed into video games. Get a impact, <laughs> man. Like they. Say uh, it's only, gonna, I mean, only say, maybe game Game Pass is the only thing where. It's a similar type of issue a little bit, but they pay lump sums up front. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we will talk about that soon. Uh, all right. So that's it for the movie cast, and I think I covered all the news. Yes. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, yeah. Uh, Churro, thanks for tuning in, uh, chiming in there. Writers for video games go on strike. Yeah. I mean, you could. You could. Honestly, I mean, uh, the thing is, we didn't even report it, but uh, Sega officially went on uh, unionized, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. Did they? Oh, I wow. I think so. I, so that I mean, it could. I mean, you get unions involved, you could actually protect. Their I mean, that is the next thing we will see. That I, I guarantee yeah, you, the so next well, decade. That's what I mean, you see what's happening right now in the entertainment industry. There on that side, it's yeah. gonna go. I guarantee you, in the next other, decade, in their areas, we will see it. Yes, one hundred percent. Especially with what we're seeing with like streaming and stuff, and mm-hmm. like the fact that digital content was not mm-hmm. necessarily considered. Yeah. And now it is, and the yeah. ease of getting it, and the the way it's distributed, yep. everything's changing. So. Yep. Yeah. If everything's changing, people need to be compensated they for do. it. Yep. Paid fair. Absolutely. Yeah. And if you think otherwise, go fuck yourself. Yeah. Pretty I don't simple. know who's on the side of the executive. There's always somebody, man. There's oh, always somebody. Do. I guess. Yeah, I There's, guess. All right. I mean, look at all the people that fucking worship Elon Musk, like, or, you know, fucking Zuckerberg. I know. You know? There's always somebody. Right. I know. There is. Yeah, like he's the, the yeah. Never mind. I'm not getting into that. Never mind. Never mind. All right, that's gonna wrap up this episode of the Movie Cast, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Gamecast coming up next. If you uh, watching this live, so stay tuned. Uh, if not, we have YouTube obviously the following day. So subscribe to both channels to get the latest and greatest from us. We'll see you soon. We're out. <laughs>